Hello and welcome everyone, this is Frosty back here today with an all new video. Then I recently faced an error. I just start, opened my Epic Games launcher and it started and it shows something like verifying. Okay, so the first thing that I want you to understand is that because sometimes this error could happen if you have a poor internet connection. So make sure that you have a pretty good internet connection or else it just won't work. First thing you want to do is to head over to control panel so that everybody can do right and sorry for all those noises so then click on install a program and from here what you gotta do is simply go to epic games launcher right click and uninstall that's what you gotta do first thing you have your epic games launcher right and if you have fortnite installed make sure that you copy your fortnite files and paste them somewhere else so that you don't mess everything and you have to re-download fortnite whole again so that would be a tip one okay so what you gotta do is simply right click uninstall Uninstall Epic Games Launcher. Do not uninstall anything else. Epic Games Launcher. Do not click on repair because I just did it and I found it wasn't helpful so I had to just restart the process again. Okay. So uninstall. First thing. Second thing that I want you to do is download a software and that is called CCleaner. And I hope everybody knows it. Most of the people. Alright. So you simply need to open up CCleaner and then what you gotta do is simply go head over to registry because make sure that you're doing this after uninstalling on un, uh, that what is that epic games launcher so simply click on scan for issues so it might show show you something like these all because these are the registry issues that are currently going on now what happens is that when you uninstall an application some registry of that particular application are left off and due to that there might be some more error popping up in your epic games launcher so what you got to do is to remove every registry as you can and this is also beneficial so I'm going to be clicking on fix selected issues I'm not going to be making a backup for my registry changes because in case if you want to make some changes later or you still don't want to mess up your registry you can make the back backup but as in mine I don't want to so I'm going to click on no and you can click on fix issue fix issue fix issue reading all by one by one but I'm going to be clicking on fix all selected issues and that's going to do everything for me other thing you can do is simply click on custom clean and analyze your PC and remove everything that's not necessary all right, once you have done that, you gotta do is one simple thing, head over to Chrome, simply head over to Chrome, and also make sure that you restart your PC just for once, just for once, make sure you give your PC a restart. And once you've done that, simply head over to download Epic Games Launcher because we want a new first install. And there might be this link, epicgameslauncher.com slash store slash download. I'm also giving this down below in the description in case you might be thinking, yeah, this guy's giving some viruses. He's literally a hacker. Just do that and this and that. So here's the thing what you can do. Simply you can search over and get this somewhere here. Okay. Once you've done that, simply click on download Epic Games Launcher. But before installing, there are a few cautions that you need to take. Head over to your settings. If you're using Windows 7, you can go to Google Chrome. Oh, no, why am I saying Google Chrome? You need to head over to your firewall settings. First of all, simply search in firewall. So it's going to say firewall network protection. And you got to disable your private network if you are on a private network. If you're on a public network, you're totally free. Just disable the firewall for a while. But I do not recommend disabling a firewall in public network because it could be really, really risky. So simply disable the private firewall. And once you've done that, just simply download and install the Epic Games Launcher. And you're gonna be, probably if it doesn't start up, then it might be still be a problem. But in my case, it did work. And I can assure you that in your case, it might also work as well. So that is it. That's what you gotta do to replace that particular damn error that is popping up every single time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, Make sure that you like, subscribe and comment. Also share this video with your friends so that they can help me, I can help you and all that stuff. Thank you for watching.